All right, guys. Mm, dab on. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. AJ White Productions. You already know. But today, I mean, I think we're actually heading to town right now. And we're going to be getting a bow, which you probably already know by the thumbnail if I got a bow. And if I didn't get a bow, this video is not going up. So if you're seeing this, I got a bow. But, uh, yeah, we're going to head to town, look for a bow, get my first. Well, I mean, if you saw my other videos, you know I already got a bow. But my first, like real deal compound bow i have a junk walmart one let's head to town and see what we can get i might not film very much in the store because it's kind of weird honestly but i'll pick you up either in the store or when we pick up the bow so uh, yes yeah, see how when we get there or there might be an epic montage who knows <laughs> So we just actually picked up the bow. I'll show you when we get home. But I spent about what I was thinking and I got a, what did I get, what's it called? There's a spider right there. What is that thing called you put the arrows there? Quiver. quiver. Oh yeah, I got a quiver, six arrows, obviously a sight, got the peep sight put on and my draw length adjusted. So uh, yeah, I'll show you more about it when we get home. Since we got the bow, here it is. Haven't really showed it yet. Say, Diamond Archery by Bowtech Edge 320. And go to it can go from well right now it's set at I think 46, and it can go up to 70 pounds. Obviously it's compound bow. Got some epic sights on there, fiber optic. Got a little level. Got the brushes for the. Got the brushes for the arrow to go through. Um, strings. Got the peep sight set for me. Um, when I went in there and got this bow, he measured my like um, wingspan or whatever you want to call it. And then he did some sort of something and figured out how far my draw length is. Which is basically when I'm like this, how far the, air, the strings need to be set. So that's set. Got the peep sight set. Got some stinking... Uh, uh, sights, yeah, sights. Uh, I did actually start shooting it the day that we got it, but I had shot maybe less than 20 arrows through, and I was about to set up the camera, and it started raining. So, yeah, we're back out here today. Sling some arrows, and that is what we are going to do, is sling some arrows. Check my group. I've only done maybe, maybe 20 arrows, a little bit over, less, plus or minus, but sling some arrows and see what I can do. I haven't shot bow a whole lot. I have done it a little bit, but now that I got my own, I hopefully I can do a little bit more. If you already watched my videos, you already know that I own a bow. It was a $130 one from Walmart and it can only go to 45 pounds. This one's set to 46 and it can go to 70. It's a Walmart bow, it's junk, but bow season starts here in less than a week. Today's Monday. 
and it starts on Saturday. So, yeah. I'll have a video coming out where we're building a tree stand. Two-person tree stand. Uh, yeah, doing some welding, building a ladder on that. We're going to be setting that up, and then we're going to do some bow hunting with this bow out of that tree stand. But y'all be seeing that video. But let's get this shooting. Thinking yeet, boy. Did you eat yourself? Oh, come on. You're an idiot. Oh, yeah. With the bow, we got, obviously, sights. Got it all set. This thing... Bought some broadheads, which are somewhere, and six arrows with field tips, obviously. Let's pop the first arrow in and get the shling in. Got my GoPro set up. Hopefully, I don't hit it. It'll maybe make a good thumbnail. Right now, I'm just at 10 yards, though. Well, well I'll, I think I'll probably set them at either 10, 20, and 30, or 20... 30 and 40 but right now we're just getting her started not sighted in it's not sighted in but i want to be able to get good groups before i sight it in i don't want to sight it in and then or i don't want to not be i want to be in pretty tight groups before i sight it in so i'm going to be just aiming at the same spot get good groups and now start sighting it in probably back her up to 20 or 30 so let's get to slinging Heard some arrows hit. Yeah. I am. I do have three sights on here. I don't know if it'll focus, but three fiber optic sights and then a level. But I realized that if I just shoot with the sights and aiming at the same spot, they're not always hitting. I actually started using a level to make sure the bow's level, and it seemed like the group got tighter. So I am forgetting, but got another arrow to sling, and then we'll go check our group. All right, boys, let's go. Let's go stink and check out the target. Pretty long walk. And we're here. Um, not bad, not bad. So what I was doing is I'm aiming for here, just trying to get a group. And then once I get good groups, I'll slowly move it so I can be able to hit a target. But right now, I'm just trying to aim at the same spot and get groups, as I said. But not bad. If you don't count that one, wrap your two hands around it. Um, I'm going to start using the level that seemed to help last time i shot not but not bad hopefully i don't murk the gopro but that is not bad let's pull these things out go for another round okay guys so basically if you came here for a review i'm not going to give it to you because i haven't shot for long enough and i can't say if it's going to last but it was pretty good price for i think what i got so for right now i recommend it and i have a buddy with diamond you know who you are if you're watching this you better be um but yeah he likes his diamond uh i guess basically if y'all keep watching my videos for the next couple years you can see how this bow does and i'll be able to so if you want to buy this bow just check in about three years and they don't know if you want to buy it I think I can up the poundage probably to 50 or 55, but for right now practicing, 46 is enough after I run through 20 arrows, but probably on season, crank it up. Well, actually, no, I don't want to crank it up though, so... I guess what I'll do is I'll practice with this 46 and then when it, maybe when I'm ready to sight it in, I'll crank it up to 
50 or something, or crank, crank it up a few turns. But it'll work if this pounded. It'll just be better if it had more. If you sight it in at 46 and then crank it up before you go hunting, it's going to be shooting at a different spot. So I guess I have to sight it in for a higher pound. If I crank it up, I need to sight it in for that much pound. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Lost the fletching. Oh, appears that I may have lost the fletching. That's trash. Oh, yep. This, this right arrow here. is missing a fletching. And it's even the right color. Oh, what the world. Well, at least I got six arrows. I mean, that's a really smacking good group. Though. Well, this one, here's the group. I can literally wrap one hand around it. I was aiming for this target, but you can't go by how much I missed because it is not sighted in. But there's the group. This one lost the fletching back there. It's not like it hit one of these arrows and it came off. It lost it back there. So, I don't know exactly what that would make it do, but if you take that one out, the one that lost the fletching, that's a pretty tight group. And even with that there, that's you could wrap both hands around that. It's a pretty tight group. It was right there in it was right there. But even with that, that's still a good group. I mean, these targets are like hand-sized. I mean, they're not that big. So, take out that one that yeeted a fletching. That's that's honestly, I'm not sad about that. There's even one under there. There's three right there. Five arrows right there. Not stinking bad. Well, I'm actually pretty happy with that group. You say, oh, why'd you get a diamond? Why didn't you get a prime or a hoy? Because I'm not made of money i'm not stinking steven ranella i don't got a sponsorship i'm not made of money how am i supposed to afford afford a prime afford a prime or a hoyt i'm not sponsored and not steven ranella he's he's got that sponsorship he got that netflix money not me that's why i bought that and seems to be working so far i'm basically pro obviously three arrows hit each other but yeah i'm pretty happy with it so far so, if y'all enjoyed this video, that was really close to my place. Flight. I'm done talking. I can't, my words are getting all slurred. I'll see y'all in the next video when I'm doing something different. Setting up tree. I don't, get out of here. Head to an epic outro. I don't, I don't know what it'll be. Just, just bye. Whew.